There are things that we experience as children that stick with us through the rest of our lives, like books, music, movies, TV shows, and even commercials. I find myself playing old commercial clips all the time on YouTube. There's a certain satisfaction you get from unlocking an old memory that you haven't thought about since childhood. So I thought it would be fun to talk about some of the commercials we saw almost every day in the early to mid 90s. Let's take a look at a few and let me know in the comments if you have any memories about these too. Let's go! Zoo Books! Now your child can visit steamy jungles, grassy plains, and the dark depths of the oceans. Once you hear that familiar voice and generic safari music that you'd find at a natural wonder store at the mall, yeah, remember that place? You knew you were in for a treat. It's Zoo Books! Because nothing got kids more hyped in the 90s than learning about exotic animals and wildlife. You know, children naturally love animals and they enjoy learning everything they can about them. Here's your mail. Whoa, zoo books. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> See what I mean? Just check out how freaking cool this wet polar bear is. There is just so much going on in this commercial, it's no wonder that I never got tired of it as a kid. It's the kind of magazine you'd probably find at the doctor's office while waiting, but they somehow made it really appealing. If you were lucky like this kid, you got it delivered straight to your house. Order Zoo Books today and send learning and fun to a child you love. He's so excited he even went outside to greet and converse with the mailman. Maybe it's Mr. McFeely. The best part of the commercial is how they tout the poster that came with the books. You'll also get the colorful collection of animal stickers and the tiger poster. The narrator doesn't refer to it as a tiger poster, he calls it the tiger poster. And the tiger poster. Like you're an asshole if you didn't already know about this world famous tiger poster or something. They also make a big deal about the elephant issue. It comes as a special bonus. When you call and use your credit card, we'll include the elephant's issue as a gift. Why is that the bonus over everything else? Why not toucans or something? Maybe they felt like elephants were extra popular at the time because of Babar or something. Apparently a lot of people never got the poster sent to them, which is super lame. So I looked into it and the poster did exist. I guess it was just kind of hit or miss if you actually received it or not. Hopefully they at least got the stickers. 12 fascinating issues of Zoo Books for 1995. Call 1-800-441-2400. I thought that maybe the number would be a porn hotline by now, like Roger Rabbit on NES, but it's actually just a telemarketing line, at least at this time. Luckily, Zoo Books are still around today with the Ranger Rick stamp of approval. When you call, we'll include the bonus elephant issue stickers and tiger poster with your order. Call 1-800-441-2400. You must be 18 years or older to call. Muzzy. Bonjour. Je suis le grand Muzzy. If you watch Nickelodeon in the early 90s, this played almost every commercial break. Chances are that when Eureka's Castle went on break, you were gonna see this, and I loved it. Okay, let me back up a bit. What was Muzzy, you ask? Well, I always thought he was a bear, but I think he's actually more of an alien. And he taught children other languages. Unique BBC language course, children learn a second language with incredible ease. Four delightful videos quickly become their favorite TV show and teaches children the same way they learned English. You could learn French, German, Spanish, or Italian. To this day, I can still hear and see the clip of the little girl going, Je suis la jeune fille. This is possibly the commercial that is most ingrained in my head. I remember the ballerina dog looking things, Muzzy making incoherent noises, <laughs> and the nice but stern looking lady trying to sell it to me. Yes, that's French they're speaking, and no, these children aren't French, they're American. I wanted it. I didn't even care what language, but I wanted it. Of course, I never got it because my parents weren't going to shell out money for some random VHS collection I'd probably only watch once. And I'm glad they didn't. However, thanks to the wonders of eBay, I now have my very own VHS set of Muzzy. Well, it's only a part of a set, but I'm only going to use this for display purposes, so it's fine. You think Neo Geo carts are huge? They've got nothing on Muzzy. Muzzy is from the BBC program Muzzy and Gondoland, which first aired in 1986 and it's still around today. That's right, Muzzy is still teaching kids English and now he's in 3D. It makes me happy that Muzzy lives on. It's kind of comforting in some weird way. However, I can't imagine that the movies, new or old, are any better than the commercial itself. You'll be amazed when your children begin speaking and understanding their new language from the very first day through this unique method. 
And last but not least, who remembers Better Blocks? Hey kids, stay tuned to see how you can get a complete set of regular Better Blocks worth $19.95 free. Just order Glow in the Dark Better Blocks from this TV and you'll receive your regular Better Blocks free. You had Legos, Mega Blocks, Tyco Blocks, Connects, Constructs, and then at the bottom of the barrel you had Better Blocks. That's right, it's better and not better. Or at least they pronounce it that way in the commercial, but it's not spelled that way. It's a sock em bopper versus soccer boppers type situation. Sock em boppers, sock em boppers. You now watching this commercial as an adult, I find myself laughing at the narrator. Kids, make a sword that glows, a rocket that goes, a sparkling necklace, a dazzling ring, a thousand and one illuminated things. And it sounds like she's straight up crying at some points. Snap on glow connectors to these blocks and see your better blocks in a new life. Cool. I also got to point out this actress right here who looks like someone is holding a gun to her head off camera. The commercials were really visually appealing and they got you pumped. They came in regular, glow in the dark, and even magic color changing blocks. I remember the glow in the dark commercial most. I thought the spinning carousel looked so freaking cool. I also love the serious amount of shade they throw at Legos, but it's like kind of subtle. If you look closely, you can see a boring old Lego castle in the back, while the Better Blocks one shines like the beacon of hope that it is. Make an everyday castle light up at night! They do the same with the pirate ship, and that's an iconic Lego set. And a pirate ship that's glowing with fright. You don't even notice the Lego one in the shot. It's savage. At some point later on, they got rebranded as Glow Beads. So if this is the same thing and it was just a name change, which I'm pretty sure it is, I'm glad that it gave the blocks a new lifespan, but the name is not better than better blocks. See what I did? <laughs> I managed to get my hands on some actual better blocks and an instruction manual, which should show us how to build a mobile phone from the 90s. So this is my first time actually looking at the better blocks manual. And not only, okay, so it's totally not just directions for a mobile phone, even though like I probably want to build that, but there's directions for all kinds of things like spiders and flowers and all cool stuff. But let me read the introduction. They totally give you a welcome letter. You have just purchased the original Better Blocks building blocks that turn regular block play into hours of bendable fun. Better Blocks building blocks are fully interchangeable with major brands of blocks including Lego, Tyco, and Microblocks building blocks. How many times have I said blocks? Okay, so it goes on. I like this part that says remember, and then in quotes, the fun never stops when you play with Better Blocks. Well, we're gonna put that statement to the test. Okay, so we could start off easy and make like a bracelet or a wristwatch. You can make a dog, a man. <laughs> It's just like a dude. I don't know why this made me laugh. <laughs> so, oh, do they have the butterfly in here? The butterfly was cool in the commercials. A leg shield? What would you use a leg shield for? Oh, here we go. This was this was in the commercial. Gridiron chest protector slash space vest. So it's very versatile. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could make the phone. The mobile phone's cool, but it's kind of like just a brick. So maybe I should make something more interesting. Let's make the crown. I want to wear a Betta Blocks crown. <laughs> oh, there's like a brick of something in here. Somebody already made something. Oh my god, what is it gonna be? Whoa! Oh my goodness! Okay. <laughs> so somebody made, like the person I bought it from, like their kid or whatever, made a rolly thing. Maybe this was part of a castle. Ooh, can this fit around my waist? Yeah, look, it's a belt. Better blocks belt. This is like, this is the fashion accessory you need. So we're gonna have 13 on top, 13 on the bottom. I have, okay, this is gonna be a mess of colors. I don't think this is gonna be a good pattern, <laughs> but we'll try, we'll see. So they just kind of like snap together. I was having an easy time with it and then I tried <laughs> showing it to you guys. These already kind of bend. These are interesting. They're like little... Whoa! Gears. Better blocks are actually pretty cool. I would have had fun with this. Okay, so we have the crown part. And then I guess we just like kind of connect it. Like boop! It's kind of small. I mean, I guess I could make it bigger. I'm gonna make it bigger. 
I'm just gonna add a few more to have it fit my head a little better. I feel kind of guilty taking apart, you know, the person's creation who had this before me, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. Alright. So that's a little bigger. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So now we gotta make it pretty. It says if we wanna, you know, copy this exact picture, it says we need to add 16 basic blocks and 6 round blocks. For the jewels! There's some Legos in this box. You guys, I think it's ready. Oh my god. Ah! I just broke it. Get in there. Okay. Da, 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 da. Why does that sound like Star Wars? God, this is the monitor. I can't see which direction it's going. Made it a little tall. It's kind of a messed up crown. But, you know, at least it's original. I am the Betta Blocks Queen! I still can't get over it. Like, this is something to do when you're bored. Just see how long you can make a Betta Blocks wall. Oh my god, you know what I just noticed? It totally says Betta Blocks, like on the little dot itself. Quality products. That Betta Blocks. I don't. You know what? Oh! Oh no, my crown fell off. Oh, it stayed together. Nope, we lost we lost some diamonds. Oh my god, my crown keeps falling apart. It won't it won't stay. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I think this crown will stay on. <laughs> and let me know in the comments um, what your favorite commercials were growing up. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.